Hi all, and welcome to my channel where we make things just because. Question. Have you ever had an idea that you thought was freaking genius, and then before you get a chance to do it, somebody comes along and either does it or says it before you do, and you feel like a dirty copycat? This is exactly how I feel about this video. Let me explain. Everyone on Instagram and YouTube have been doing these full ceramic paint hack things. And a while ago, I picked up some vases off of the Facebook marketplace with the intention of doing this. Now, I had never actually planned to make a video to do this until the other day where I came up with this amazing idea to give it a little twist. So I went out and I bought all the things I needed and I came back and I went on YouTube for my mid afternoon home decor binge and found that somebody had already done it. So then I went back and decided I still wasn't going to do this video, but as you can see, I'm here, and that's because I never ever have a unique idea, and I really wanted to do it. So really, I guess that means the title of this video should be just because every other YouTuber is doing it, but let me show you how I did it. So the materials you're going to need for this one are nice and simple. You need some vases, you need some paint. I used wall paint. You need some bicarbonate of soda. And the secret ingredient for this one is wall filler. Here are the vases I'm going to be working with for this project. As I mentioned before, I picked these up off of Facebook Marketplace. So they were stored in somebody's garage for quite some time before I got them. And they were really, really gross and full of bugs. Before I could do anything else, I needed to give these a really good clean. I gave them a quick hoover out and then gave them a wash down with some warm water and some washing up liquid. I then gave them a sand down all over to try and help the paint stick. Spoiler alert, this did not help at all. Once this was done, I was ready to start painting. Before I could get started on the outside of these pots, I gave the inside of this blue pot a coat of black spray paint because I knew that I wanted to paint it black and I am way too lazy to hand paint the inside. I didn't bother with the other one because I knew that the final color would be really similar and I didn't think you would notice. While that was drying, I turned my attention back to this white pot with the swirly pattern. The color I chose to paint this one was Magic Touch by Valspar as I had it left over from painting my bedroom. So this paint hack really begins with bicarbonate of soda. Some people use baking soda or baking powder or whatever but the goal here is just to make the paint a bit chunky. I did this by making my mixture approximately two parts paint to one part bicarb. I then just mixed these together until they started to get thick. I then painted this all over the pot. As you can see, it was already starting to give the pot a new texture, but even after all the sanding, the paint didn't stick very well and it was quite patchy. So I then had to go in and give it a second coat. I think I made a mistake here in not mixing a second batch of paint. During the drying time for the first coat, the paint got slowly more and more chunky in the pot. And when painting it on for the second coat, it was really thick. So the end result was really, really textured. But this is how it looked after that second coat. I then turned my attention back to the blue pot. The paint I chose for this one was just a plain black. For this one, I wanted a really chunky texture and I'd not yet learned my lesson from the second coat on the white pot. So added lots of bicarb. I mixed this up thoroughly and decided that it still wasn't thick enough, so decided to add even more. I then painted the whole pot just the same as the first one. This went on even more unevenly than the first pot, and it was really difficult to get it into all the nooks and crannies. Once it was dried, it was even more apparent how uneven it was, and I had to sand down some of the really chunky parts before applying the second coat of paint. But once the second coat was on, it evened out quite a bit and looked fine. Here is where I get to try out some of the weird and wonderful things that the other YouTubers have been trying out. The first one I'm going to try out is cinnamon powder. I started by trying to just brush it on, but this didn't seem to do very much. I would just brush it on and then brush it back off again. I then decided to try rubbing it on in the hope that it would stick better. This seemed to be more effective at first, but it ended up just brushing off in the same way. In the end, I spritzed some water onto the pot with a spray bottle to help the cinnamon stick before I brushed the cinnamon on. This worked out much better, but it was really difficult to keep it even. Overall, I wasn't entirely impressed with this as I just had a dirty looking pot that smelled like Christmas. The second trick or hack that I tried is mud, just plain old garden dirt mixed with some water. This one was nice and easy, 
just paint on the dirt mixture all over and wait for it to dry. Then when it's dry, just dust away all the loose dirt. This one did give me a few problems however as the wateriness of the mud mixture loosened the paint and I ended up brushing off some of the original paint which I had to go back later on and fix. Let's have a sneak peek at how these looked before and after. This one I have dubbed the one that looks dirty. Overall I do prefer the after effect on this one but I should have painted the inside of the pot as it is quite noticeable and I might have to go back and try and even out that finish. This one I have dubbed the one that is dirty. I actually really like the finish on this one, um, but the dirt was completely unnecessary. I think it was meant to add more texture, but as I had already made the paint so textured, it really didn't matter. So here is the part where I got inventive. As part of the bulk of vases I picked up off the marketplace, I picked up this one. I like the size and shape, but it had this horrible floral pattern and I decided that I needed to cover it. Recently, people on YouTube have been doing this thing where they have been taking wall filler and using it to create texture on things like walls and canvases and stuff. And I wanted to try and apply that same idea to the pot to cover up this horrible texture and create something that was a little bit more natural and rustic. So now you can see why my secret ingredient was the wall filler. I started by applying a thin coat sporadically all over the pot, mostly just trying to cover up the horrible floral pattern. Once I had this on all over, I really didn't like the random texture and so I decided to change it into this vertical pattern instead by running lines from the bottom all the way to the top. Once this dried, it looked really good but it had these little bobbles all over it that needed removing. I did this by quickly and gently sanding them away. Once it was all smoothed out, this looked much, much better. Finally, I added a coat of paint to this. I chose this toasted beige colour as I wanted it to look like clay. I didn't bother doing the bicarb hack here as it was already quite textured from the wall filler and I thought it looked really good. This ended up needing quite a few coats of paint as the wall filler absorbed the paint and it kept going patchy. Let's have a sneak peek at some before and afters. I have dubbed this one the unfinished one. It's fine, but maybe I need to add some of those weird effects from before. So that's the end of our video today guys. I know this one was a little shorter than usual because like I said before I hadn't really planned on making this video but why should everybody else get to have all the fun eh? The results of this one were a little bit hit and miss. Some were okay, some weren't so great but you know we can just keep trying and try something different next time. While I have you all here I would like to first of all thank you all for watching and if you'd like to continue watching please don't forget to like and subscribe on this video and I'll speak to you all again soon. Goodbye!